When a person thinks of the Montana State football greats, there's a handful of names that come to mind from Holland and Fletcher, Hass all the way to McGee, Lule, and so forth here in the future. But when you're talking about defensive backs as we are in our MT Top 40, you look at the best football players ever to hail from the state of Montana. There's really only one name that comes to mind, a fan favorite, even though he's no longer with the program. We're talking about former Billings Skyview, Montana State player, then coach, the one and only Kane Ione. Kane Ione was one of many players on our countdown to play on each side of the football, all conference at running back, and of course defensive back at Billings Skyview under Ron Lebsock in the late 90s. He had all state honors as a senior safety, four interceptions, even though he played a majority of the year with a cast on his hand. He was also a great basketball player, was selected for the Montana East-West Shrine Game and the Knights of Columbus Badlands Bowl and then committed to Montana State University. The, the thing I really always think about Kane was his first, uh, first few weeks on campus is that you, you always heard people talking about Kane Ione, uh, you know, telling him good job and practicing and drills. And, and I remember after about two or three weeks before we'd even got to our first game, Mike Kramer joked that you know, it, it was a week into camp before he knew his first name wasn't Good Job because everybody said, Good job, Kane Ione. You know, that's, that's my lasting memory was what an impression he made really early in his time in the program. You know, Kane was special, right? When he walked in to campus at Montana State, it was my senior year. Uh, I feel very fortunate I got the opportunity to play with Kane uh, because he was a heck of a player. Kane had it. You know, when he walked in, you kind of knew, like, hey, this guy's got to figure it out. This guy, he knows what he's doing. And, man, I, I, I was so impressed with Kane as a freshman, as a senior. I was like, man, this guy has it. Uh, it it's rare. You don't see that with freshmen walking in and, and playing as true freshmen and, and did not, the big stage did not phase him one bit. Ione made a quick impression at MSU, becoming one of the greatest players in program history and certainly a fan favorite. Cats were 0-11 during his true freshman year in 2000. He had 98 tackles, 6 sacks, and 3 interceptions, but the turnaround was quick, and Ione was a big part of it. By the time he was a junior, Cats were after Big Sky Conference Championships, ended a 16-year losing streak to the rival Grizz in 2 That was a 10-7 win in Missoula, and then back-to-back -back conference titles 2002-2003. Kane Ione, first team all-conference each of those years, Defensive MVP in the Big Sky Conference as a senior, 471 total tackles, 10 career interceptions, 5 fumble recoveries, and again, he's the only Bobcat in program history to be a four-time All-American, third team in 2000, honorable mention 2001, then second and first team in 02 and 03. He was a detail-oriented guy, whether it was through drills, weight room, um, on the field practice, whatever it was, he was always the first guy to be there, the last guy to leave. Uh, you know, and, and what a great attitude. You know, it was neat to see him grow his freshman year. Um, you know, a true freshman going out there starting, and, and you would have thought he was a senior. Um, and then to follow that up with four All-Americans, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty rare. You know, that doesn't happen very often uh, for a guy from Montana. And, and you know, and I, I don't want to say Kane wasn't a, a little guy, but Kane wasn't that big 6'5 safety. You know, he was, you know, he's maybe 5'11, 6 foot, and, and he would bring it. Um, every day and, and he knew our defense and and he, you know he came in at a great era at Montana State because it was a defense that fit his personality and um, you know coach Kramer and those guys did a great job for him. Well he was a perfect fit for Mike Kramer and Pete Kwiatkowski's system because he was that physical safety that could get in up into the line of scrimmage and make a read and quick explode to a play and he really played like a linebacker but he also had the great coverage skills you know he was a tremendous guy um, for playing on the back ends. He was just such a versatile player. And, and really, um, until you saw him in games, I don't think you appreciated how physical he was. But he was, he was just a tremendously physical player. I've always thought maybe a big part of that came from his mother because she was a rodeo star and just a tremendous character and a really tough-minded person, Rhonda. And, uh, you know, so it, it, was, it was just so much fun to, to watch him for those four years. But he really exploded onto the scene and you know we'd known about him for a long time because his family were friends with Bruce Parker who was our longtime uh, legendary SID assistant AD and so we always kind of kept an eye on Kane and boy we were you know rooting like crazy that he was going to end up here and, and it was a marriage made in heaven.
Ione had a brief attempt at an NFL career, but then came back to Bozeman and right on to the Montana State coaching staff, 2004 student assistant, and then a full-time guy in 2005. He, of course, was with the linebackers for many years, then the defensive coordinator in 2015, and even assistant head coach in the 2016 season. Now, 2017, he became the quality control analyst at the University of Washington and continues to climb the ladders, first as a player and now as a coach. Well, the thing about Kane is he's, a, he's just a grinder. He's a worker. Um, and so, you, you know, you knew that he was eventually going to just keep bid. You know, when he was at Montana State as a coach, he did such a phenomenal job with their linebackers. And then now he's, you know, at the University of Washington and what he's done and time in those ranks. It's a neat thing to see that, hey, I played with this guy. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, really understands the game of football, understands position-specific stuff and schematic things. You know, that's pretty cool uh, to see that he did that. And, and I, I'm excited for him. I, I love him to death. He a, was a fun player to play with. And I wish I'd have had a few more years with him, you know, because they were pretty dang successful, you know, with those, those four years that Kane was there. I always made it a point to find him on Cat Grizz Day, you know, about during his career. But when he came back as a coach, it always just made me feel so much better that Kane Ione was still around. And it was a lot of fun to watch him grow as a coach and grow as a guy. He really is an excellent coach. I mean, he's got, I believe, a very bright future. I know that uh, visiting with Coach Choate, that the people at Washington really enjoy having him around and working with him. And, you know, I just look forward to following his career. But it, it was a lot of fun for those, uh, you know, 12 years or whatever it was that he was on staff to have him around. and and to know that, you know, I'd kind of been watching it from the very beginning. We come onto this field on our home turf and win our second straight Big Sky title. Man, I can't, it's, this is just awesome. That's what we're talking about, baby. Big Sky champs, Big Sky champs. Kane Ione, one of the best Bobcats in program history, number three on the defensive backs list on your MT Top 40. Tune in on Thursday and Friday, number two and number one, as we continue counting down the best in Big Sky country. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.